here's a quick update. <clears throat> Many people know that last week I had some tests run. Um, they were mostly just um, follow-up testing and also to find out about my voice. It's, it's really hard for me to speak, so just bear with me. Um, my voice is gradually getting worse. Nosy has to come over and see what I'm doing. Anyways, my voice is gradually getting worse. And I've been tired a lot. So that was my complaint at the doctor. I'm not really in any pain. But my voice is getting worse. So basically what I found out, they did a thyroid test. And found out that my T3 and T4 levels are very low. Um, I had what they were, but basically they're non-existent on the scale. There's another value that is, um, I think it's HSH or something like that, TSH or HSH, that's controlled by your pituitary gland, and it was off the charts compared to where it should be at. And that is because um, the pituitary gland releases its hormone and signals the thyroid gland that it needs to release more hormones. And because the thyroid is not responding, the pituitary gland just keeps releasing more and more. So, new prescription. Uh, to treat the thyroid and I also got a new subscription to treat another infection that's in my mouth a different different um, prescription and I don't know why I'm having this deja vu moment did I already upload a video about this because memory loss short-term and long-term memory has also been absolutely horrible. Like I can, I can have someone called that I've known all my life and not remember their name. Um, even family members. So it don't matter how close we are. If I forget your name right now, sorry. Um, there was some issues because my doctor's appointment was on January 20th, which was when Biden was sworn into office. And the insurance company denied filling the prescription um, because the prescription had gone up in price so much. And to let me give you an example, before... The prescription cost me like $8 out of pocket and it cost the insurance company around $100, $68 out of pocket. And now the same prescription is over $1,000. So thanks Biden uh, for putting a halt on Trump's order to curb prescription prices. I'm sure... All of us Americans appreciate it a lot. Um, the doctor said that the thyroid issue could take weeks to months to figure out, but they're trying their prescription first. So that's the cancer update. This is post chemo and radiation. The uh, PET scan was all clear. I do remember doing that video. But I can't remember. I don't think I had the results on the thyroid yet. So that brings you up to date now. Tomorrow is February 1st, 2021. Totally flubbed up the ending of that video. And there's something I wanted to clarify. I said that the 
prescription used to cost me eight dollars and it cost the insurance company sixty eight dollars and now that same prescription cost me fifty eight dollars and I don't know what the insurance company paid but the pharmacy told me the prescription was over a thousand dollars so I just wanted to clarify that that because Biden canceled Trump's executive order on prescription price curbing prescription prices are now astronomical again so people that have to get EpiPens and things like that are really going to appreciate Biden's first day in office just as much as I do now that's all the political stuff I'm probably ever going to bring to my channel but just so you know I also flubbed up the ending so as always, God bless you, God bless your families, and God bless your homesteads. Thanks for watching.